Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with the very first episode of our new sandbox park. Welcome to Inama Zoo. The meaning of that is wild animals, so Inama means wild animals. So we're going to create a African savanna zoo, and I was actually planning to do a more realism thing that like doesn't really feel like a zoo at all. And like with a lot of thinking and a lot of debating, I was thinking like, hmm, it might be better to go for a little bit more of a safari zoo, aka maybe a national park idea. But like the main thing and the main reason for that is because it's just really hard to get a lot of animals in if you would have just one big landscape. So mostly because of the feeders. So you would have still need gates and stuff for your staff to be able to give the animals food. And like the idea I had was basically just one big environment with like a Jeep Safari going through it. And I just don't really see it happening that everything goes right. So the plan will be right now, we have like this big building. I had no idea yet what to do with it. I found a picture of African architecture, but I, I tried to find the picture again to tell you guys what it is inspired of, but I can't find it anywhere anymore. It's super weird. So I'm very sorry for that, but it is inspired by some kind of African building. And I used the glass roof of the Melan Zoo Dome just to get the shape from it. So that whole glass roof will be deleted in the end. And for this uh, particular dome-ish building, I wanted to use the art pieces in this case because you can really color them in every color you want. So I thought in this case, it would be easier to use those pieces instead of like the normal construction pieces. And I actually just started building this one and I had no idea for what it would be. Like you could maybe build a elephant shelter out of it or anything like that. But since we're not going for a real zoo, we're probably not going to build any shelters for our animals. I am going to adapt the zoo to make sure that the staff is able to feed the animals but in the end we're in Africa and the animals in Africa when they free roam to their landscaping they don't have any shelters unless they are going to lay down underneath a tree or anything like that so I am not going to build that many shelters or whatsoever there in fact are not going to be any buildings I think except for this one Things can change, like obviously the whole plan of this zoo is already changing while I start building in the first episode, so things might change later on. But the idea is to get as many animals as possible of the African region in this zoo and we're going to have a jeep safari and all the landscapes we're going to build will be inspired of the real African savanna landscaping. So I'm going to use a lot of inspiration for that and really try to get as many natural borders as possible. Like in Mainland Zoo, we did try a lot with rock borders, which are fairly easy, obviously. But in this case, I want to go for more like terrain barriers or something like that. So I want to have like very steep slopes that you will not be able to see from this center point of view. So there will be a lot of natural borders that are just not visible. At least that is my idea. I have no idea if it's going to work. Like it's going to depend also if animals will be able to jump very high or not. So I am really curious how this is going to look, but I have some really cool ideas. So we have this building in the front or in the middle section of our zoo and there is a big path going towards it. In this video, you will see me build the Jeep Safari, which is going to change a lot during this series. It's just to get an idea of, okay, how do I want the track to go? We're going to hide away the track so no one will be seeing the track. You will only see the Jeep driving through this as if there is really a guy driving it. That is the idea. There is not going to be too many Jeeps. Like I don't want it to feel like Planet Coaster where you just have like tons of different Jeeps driving around it. 
it has to be a little bit exclusive for the guests. So yeah, I I want to really combine a safari zoo together with like more realism that you would go on a safari in Africa. So that is the whole approach of this zoo. And also like you have a lot of animals like the elephant and the warthog and the zebra and the ostrich that can be combined in one habitat. But I felt like if I wanted to do it like with one big habitat, I am afraid that my lions, for example, which I also really would like to add, will be killing animals. And that's not what we want to do. So we want to have a safe area for all our animals not being afraid of being killed or anything like that so i don't want to add too much of that realism in it because it's still also a zoo but with just a lot of nature and just a beautiful landscape for them to live in and to roam in and to Oh, just have fun in. So we're also going to play a lot with water. I also want to build more things with waterfalls and just a beautiful river. So we're going to add like big herds for animals. So a lot of animals do love to have like a big group around them. So I'm definitely if I'm going to add any animals, for example, like the buffalo or the black wildebeest, they, I think if I remember correctly, they like to have like 20 or 30 animals around them. So yeah, like I am really going to try to get in the maximum amount of all the animals in to really give that natural realistic feeling because I think that's just a lot of fun to do. Uh, yeah, we're just going to try to add like as many African animals as possible and just make sure that whatever happens with the Jeep, we don't want to see any fences. We don't want to see staff buildings or staff gates, whether you're on this middle section or in the Jeep Safari itself. So as I just mentioned, like this building I'm building right now, I had no idea at first what even to do with it. I just start building like I always do. There are not that many plans for me, except for like knowing what I want to do, but not how I want to do it. So in this case, in the end, it turned out to be more of a shade area for the people they can sit down here and relax and just hide away from the sun a little bit because it's super warm in africa so i think that makes total sense i might add some shops too but to be honest that's not really my idea because i really want to have this natural feeling going on and if i put down shops anywhere i feel like it's going to hurt our beautiful viewing point so i'm not really sure about that but also that can change during the way of course and i did raise a lot of land around that middle section just to get a starting point like a lot of things are going to be changed we're gonna work with a lot of different elevations and as i said like natural borders so we really want to play with that we're gonna have probably a lot of man-made bridges we also have a man-made tunnel for the jeep safari and i don't know if it works but i really want to see if we can also drive through the water with the jeep safari i don't know if we get any errors if we do that but that is something i'm going to try or at least try to get the approach of the jeep safari going through the water so yeah i'm really excited to just start building this whole zoo uh which is well, not basically a zoo but just really with a lot of nature and open areas of course because Africa also has a lot of plain areas but there are also really beautiful areas in the african savannah so yeah there's just a lot of different natural environments we can try to kind of replicate in the zoo so i'm just really excited for that and we're just gonna have a lot of combination with the yellowish landscapes with a lot of green i think it's gonna look really beautiful and just if you look at the blue sky it's i think it's gonna be really beautiful to just walk around here or sit in your jeep and just drive around here with the animals and if i remember correctly i haven't tested it yet but if i remember correctly if you are sitting in a jeep and the animals pass by over the jeep track then your jeep will actually just slow down until the animal moves along so those kind of things i'm really interesting to see more about so i'm really excited for that so yeah the first episode doesn't include any animals but in the second one we're starting to add several animals in our zoo i'm really excited for that i really hope you guys are too please do let me know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions or ideas 
And let me know, of course, what you think of this first episode. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And I really hope to see you guys in the next episode of Inamazu. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.